talked about before, er, uh, uh, tire construction, rammed earth in tire forms, can be used as a footing. It could be used as a retaining wall in your garden, in front of your sidewalk or something to retain a garden. Um, it, can, it can serve as a below grade wall, uh, retaining wall and stuff. So a lot of good uses and obviously in some places there's a lot of tires. Um, in order to fill them, you want to start with a level surface. So uh, Judy, I think, had leveled this uh, yesterday for us, got it ready. And um, these are 13 inch tires. I think we're going to find that they're going to expand quite a bit. And this is a little tricky because we've got, we're up against this plastic foundation. So I think we'll fill this one first and then just have to sit this one next to it and move this way. Um, so in order to fill it, the first thing is you just you start putting material in, and the key is once you get some material in, you want to um, use the sledgehammer to really pack it into um, into the tire itself. So you're hitting it from the side and filling it, and you continue to move that way until your sides are completely filled, and then you're tamping and filling the middle more. You might have some little bit of dirt, you know, obviously in the bottom. It's not like you have to completely put it in the sides first, but um, so anyway, I think it's, it's going to be pretty straightforward. I'll just get started a little bit. thing is just to move it into the sides. And it's nice that this soil is a little bit moist. It's sort of like our earth bag mix so that You've activated the clay, so when it gets packed in there, it really um, gets in there and um, hardens. Maybe somebody wants to work with me, we can fill and pack at the same time. trying to do is get it into the sides instead of packing it down to the bottom. And you might find at some point that using this on the side, you know, may get you somewhere. We'll see here. This is a pretty little tire. I'm usually I worked with much bigger tires. Not a good friends for this one. What's that? You need some really good friends for this. I will tell yeah, it's a, it's a, it can be a slow process, although Dan Churis' house uh, was made with tires, and uh, he had a crew of about five guys, and they got the tire walls up in about a week or so, so very quick.